Hi, my name is Nico and I spoke on Sunday about Jeremiah 29 and there's a verse that stuck in my head and it says, you will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. And there's many ways in which we can seek God and if you want to seek God, uh, really I encourage you to go into our website and look at all the spiritual growth resources we have. But especially there's two articles who've, that just come out um, and talk about rule of life. Um, and you can find the link on the description of this video. Talk about how we can uh, find a rhythm in prayer and uh, seeking God. But the, the thing I wanted to uh, develop today is the hunger and the desire to seek God. Because if you look at the Bible, it's full of references to seeking God and to hunger for seeking God. And the problem is sometimes we are very complacent and sometimes we are very comfortable and we don't really want to seek God or we, we just don't have it as a priority in our life and that's normal. But if you look at the Bible, we see in Ezekiel 47 a call to go deeper into the river of God, a call to go deeper in our relationship with God. And I'm just going to give uh, a few things that help me uh, have more hunger for God and hopefully it might help you as well. And one of the things uh, that creates hunger is, is actually uh, finding something that you really like. If you eat something that you really like, you won't eat it again. If you do something that you found really fun and entertaining, you want to do it again. Um, and therefore, actually having some experience of God's presence, some experience in prayer, will actually create more hunger for that. The other thing is doing it regularly. If I uh, do something quite regularly, then I, I kind of miss it when I don't do it. If I watch a movie every Saturday night, then suddenly one Saturday night I have to do something different, I miss watching that movie because it's something that I've been new doing regularly and then when you stop, you kind of miss doing it. So uh, the other way of having hunger is doing something regularly, is praying, seeking God regularly. But the thing that most uh, moves me, at least, is hearing stories of other people, is reading their stories. If you read the story of Mother Teresa and you see her, her prayer life and her communication with God and then uh, how that affects her and how that opens her to do everything she does, you can't but be moved to want to pray um, more. If you see the life of John Wesley and see everything he did, but actually that intimacy with God, that uh, time of prayer and how he communicates with God, in a way you are really called um, to do that as well. So my big encouragement for you today is to search for stories that will create hunger in you for more of God. It will want to encourage you to seek God. And um, uh, I'm going to put uh, a few uh, books in, in the description of, of this video where you can kind of look at those. But just anyone that inspires you, read their story, read what they've done, learn about what they've done. And uh, you don't even have to read the whole book. You can go on Wikipedia and, and search for uh, these uh, brilliant Christians who've come before us. But just find ways to increase your hunger. Find ways in which your hunger will increase. Because actually, um, if our desire is to seek God, then we will do it. If we don't desire that, if it's not a, a focus and a, and a priority, then we won't do it. So uh, we need to continue feeding our hunger for God. And then we will seek him and we will find him because we will seek him with all our hearts. And uh, a verse in Habakkuk, which I love, says, Lords, I've heard of your deeds. And that's why we look at stories from the past. I've heard of what you've done in the past. Please do them again. So let us dig into these biographies, these stories, and create a hunger and seek God with all our hearts and then be amazed by what he can do through and with us. Amen.